Hiya. See this, this in this particular problem, okay, we are required to use the binomial expansion. But in binomial theorem or the expansion, whatever we call, right, in that case, right, we already, we all know that, that we are having only two parameters, right, x plus y, y plus z or something like that, right. That's why it's called binomial. But here, it is given as trinomial, right, three terms are there, okay. But how we'll do that, right. So first go ahead and see uh, the general expansion of x plus y y plus z whole to the power n okay let's uh, consider that okay so here we'll see that let's go ahead and write down the expansion of x plus y plus z whole to the power n so this term can be written as x plus y plus z whole to the power n so see that now we just convert it with a, with a binomial, right? Now as we convert in binomial, we can expand it. So as the binomial theorem, so that's imply that it gives you n c zero, x to the power uh, zero, uh, x to the power n, and y plus z whole to the power zero. Okay, and then we can go ahead with that. Okay, so let's uh, write down few of the terms to better understanding. Okay, so here x to the power n plus n c one x to the power n minus 1 multiplied by y plus z whole to the power 1. Then we go ahead and see that we'll have n c n x to the power 0 and y plus z whole to the power n plus 1. That's it. Now see how many number of terms are present in this expansion. See that here we'll have only one terms, right? Because x to the power n only one term. Here we have two terms. Then if we have a uh, square, obviously, then we have three terms, right? Then here we have a uh, x to the power n, right? So therefore we have n plus one terms, right? And so on, right? So therefore, therefore we can easily say that that the total number of terms in this expansion total number of terms is equal to 1 plus 2 plus dot dot 2 n plus 1. Now, this is a AP series, right? Or the sum of first n plus 1 natural number. So, therefore, the sum will be written as n plus 1 multiplied by n plus 2 divided by uh, 2. Okay, that's it. So, this is the concept you need to remember to solve this problem okay so always remember that that if we have x plus y plus z whole to the power n then the number of terms is actually n plus 1 n plus 2 divided by 2 just remember this up thing okay let's go ahead so here for this given expansion it says that that uh, given number of terms is 28 so therefore n plus 1 n plus 2 divided by 2 that gives you 28 so that's imply that n plus 1 plus multiplied by n plus 2 that gives you 56 now see that n plus 1 and n plus 2 is actually the product of two consecutive number so here we can easily say that 56 is easy, equal to 7 multiplied by 8 that's why n plus 1 can be written as a 7 and n is equal to 6 so you obtain the power of this expansion. Now let's concentrate on the expansion now. Why? Because we need to expand this and then we have to find that uh, sum of the coefficients. Okay, let's go ahead. So the given expression says that it is 1 minus 2 to the power x plus 4 by x square whole to the power 6. Let's simplify that little bit. So that's imply that we'll have x square at the LCM. We have x square minus 2x plus 4 4 whole to the power 6. That's imply that it gives you 1 by x to the power 12 and we x squared so x minus 1 whole square and plus 3 whole to the power 6. So that's the expansion we have, right? Now again, we just go ahead and write down in a binomial theorem, okay? Because here the binomial in the similar expression we can use. Let's go ahead. So therefore, you can see that this expansion can be written as 1 by x to the power 12 6c0 3 to the power uh, 6 multiplied by x minus 1 uh, whole square then 6c1 3 to the power 5 multiplied by x minus 1 whole to the power 4 and so on 
and at the end we have that 6c6 x minus 1 whole square and to the power 6 so 12. So what do we see with that expansion? It says that if I able to expand this all the terms again, a one x minus one whole square, x minus four whole four to the power four, and all that stuff, we'll get the maximum power is x to the power twelve. Okay? Why maximum power is x to the power twelve? We have because see that here we get it as x minus one whole square uh, whole to the power six, right? So if it is a whole square and whole to the power six, we'll get the twelve term here, right? That's it. Okay? So let's go ahead. So therefore, we can we can easily write down this as that imply that we'll get one by x to the power twelve and here we'll get all those terms as uh, a zero plus a one x plus a two x square plus so on. Okay. So we get those all those sums, uh, sums right? Whatever the expansion will get it, right? Now here it says that sum of the coefficient. So what is the sum of the coefficient? If I substitute x equal to one, right, we'll get all the sums coefficient because a zero, a one, a two, and so on, right? So therefore we'll say that for this expansion, the sum of the coefficient. is actually we are just need to substitute that so 1 minus 2 by divided by 1 plus 4 by 1 whole to the power 6 let's calculate that it gives you 1 minus 2 plus 4 whole to the power 6 that gives you 3 to the power 6 that gives you 729 and that's why for this particular problem the right option is 729 okay so to solve this problem obviously we don't have to go ahead with that long detail we just have to remember that that uh, the number of terms for a x plus y plus a the three trinomial terms are actually n plus 1 n plus 2 divided by 2 so we can easily calculate n equal to 6 and then we know that that sum of the expansion so these things you don't have to do that it's just for your understanding so we just substitute a x equal to 1 and our final answer is 3 to the power 6 that's it so it's very easy problem hope you understand to the problem. Thank you.